Hey, man, do we have a move today? Yes, we do. What time? I think it's now. Wait, is that dude waiting on us? Yeah, but I told him we had to get our van fixed, so it's cool. Oh, perfect. When'd you tell him? Well, I haven't told him just yet. I plan on telling him once we get out of here, you know, once we do our shopping. He'll understand. Oh, mm -hmm. of course, man. Who doesn't have car problems? Superman. Yep. Presidents. Yep. Motorcycle cops. Yep. What about bike cops? Do they have car problems? Oh, snap. You see that? Yo, is that what I think it is? Yup, those are Eddie Murphy's vampire teeth from when he played a vampire in Vampire in Brooklyn. Vampire in Brooklyn? That movie's an undeniable masterpiece. You got that right. This here is all Eddie Murphy stuff. Wow, are you Eddie Murphy? No, but I was his limo driver. Whoa. Hell yeah, I drove Eddie all over the place. That was up until he fired me. Damn, what happened? I remember it like it was yesterday. The year was 1995. It was the premiere for Vampire in Brooklyn, an undeniable masterpiece. I dropped Eddie off, no problem. But then, while I was buying myself a cranberry juice at 7-Eleven, some idiot stole my limo. I never got to pick up Eddie, and Eddie never forgave me. Fired my ass the very next day. All I got left are the memories and all of this memorabilia. Oh, that's a sad and boring story, dude. Oh, cool, a beeper. Oh, man, that was a beeper Eddie would hit me on whenever he wanted me to pick him up. And I used to love that beeper, because you put 8008, it spelled boo, backward and frontward. I'll give it to you for $100. We'll, we'll take, take it. it. Imagine all the cool things we can do with this beeper. It's going to open up so many doors for us. Yeah, beepers are so versatile. Mm. Oh, snap. It's vibrating. Mm. And they're paging 911. Must be serious. Brothers, 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 you know you can't call a beeper from a cell phone. You got to use a pay phone. Haven't you seen The Wire? That's ridiculous. Pay phones don't exist anymore. Wrong, brothers. They still got pay phones in the ghetto. All right, let's do this. Come on, man, where you at, man? Where's my limo? Uh, who is this? It's me, Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy? Uh, uh, like, uh. Eddie Murphy, Eddie Murphy? Are you deaf? The Vampire in Brooklyn premiere is at 8 p.m. sharp. Pick me up. You guys, Eddie Murphy thinks it's 1995. I'm Eddie Murphy. Woo! Dude, it's a real shame when black celebrities go crazy and think that it's 1995. Yes, it is. Yo, Bill Clinton's a real jerk. I actually like him. He's real charming. You know what? When you put it that way, I'm happy that he's currently the president of the United States. Wait, what? Yo, what year is it? It's 1995. Flavor in your ear, son. Oh, snap. We've been paged back in time to the year 1995. This is so dope, brothers. 1995 was my best year ever. That was the year I was the face of FUBU. <laughs> yep, 1995 was a great year. Word, so many great things happened in 95. Like, um... Um, uh, oh, I got one. Bone Thugs and Harmony came out with Eternal in 1995. Yeah, you're right. That was the best album ever. I bet it sounds even better in 1995. I bet it sounds great in 1995. You know what we gotta do. Wait, will our money work in 95? Oh, man, 1995 Little Kim was so fun. We'll take two copies of the Bone Thug CD. Wait, why do you need two copies? We always buy two of everything, so we're gonna have the same experience at the same time. Yeah, we've done that since we were kids. See? Boom, 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 boom. Sup, sup. We'll take two copies of the Bone Thug CD. Sorry, little Lucas Brothers, there's only one left. Hmm, then I guess I'll take whatever that is. All right, now it's time to listen to the harmony of these Bone Thugs. In 1995. <laughs> oh, man. How are we going to listen to these CDs, man? Let's go get some CD players. All right, we got to go back in to buy two Discmans. Discman. <laughs> this says that. I say CD players. I say CD players, too. Is that wrong? 
Oasis? Come on, man. Kenny, you know the hood ain't gonna back you up on this. Forget the hood. When I grow up, I'm gonna move to England like my new heroes, Oasis. And I'm gonna be with Oasis. I'll be just like my heroes in Oasis. Forget the hood, Keith. I'm getting out of the hood. Oasis suck. You suck. England sucks. The hood is dope. And we can't be brothers anymore. Yo, Keith, you just disappeared. You disappeared, too. Dude, what's happening to us? I think I know what's going on. The moment Lil Kenny and Lil Keith bought different CDs, your identities began to drift apart. Oh, word. And now your lives are heading in two completely different directions. And if the Lucas brothers aren't exactly alike, you're nothing at all. That's why you're disappearing. So that's why we're disappearing? I think I know what we got to do. What is it? We got to find little Kenny and little Keith and make them start agreeing on everything. And right, we better do it fast, because we're going to keep disappearing if we do it slow. Hey, look, there we are. You really think Shawn Michaels is better than Bret Hart? Absolutely. But we've been Bret Hart fans since day one. I don't care. Shawn Michaels is so much better. He has more charisma, and he dances. Brett's boring, just like the hood. I'm going to England. That's it. It's official. If we can't find something to agree on, then we can't be brothers anymore. Shawn Michaels, little Kenny? Why? I'm really disappointed in my little self. We have to find a way to make him agree. But how? I know one thing that everyone can agree on. That Vampire in Brooklyn is an undeniable masterpiece. And Eddie Murphy said the premiere is tonight. Light bulb, I figured it out. We gotta get Lil' Kenny and Lil' Keith to the premiere. Obviously, they'll both love the movie. And once again, they'll be brothers. And we'll stop disappearing. Okay, so here's the plan. Gerard, while you distract our mom, we'll go kidnap our younger selves. And how am I supposed to distract your mom? Just say something about church or Keith Sweat. She really loves Keith Sweat. Big fan of Keith Sweat. What up? This better be important. I'm in the middle of playing Madden 95. Well, I just got out of church and was wondering if you wanted to listen to the soulful sounds of Keith Sweat. Come on in, you handsome stranger. <laughs> Hey, who are you guys? Do you like Oasis? Whoa! Ooh. Why'd you kidnap us? We're your future selves. We're here to make you like each other again. That ain't gonna happen, dude. Never gonna happen. Yeah, I hate this dude. Hey, look, just give us 102 minutes. If you both don't agree that Vampire in Brooklyn is an undeniable masterpiece, then we'll let you go. That cool? Yeah, cool. Whatever. Ooh, I'm a vampire! But you're in Brooklyn! I'm a vampire in Brooklyn! Oh! Ooh. I gotta say, those two older dudes are right. Vampire in Brooklyn is an undeniable masterpiece. Yeah, it's a perfect movie. It's flawless cinema. It combines our two favorite things, vampires and Brooklyn. I am so sorry about earlier, man. I know, why are we fight? I don't know. Let's be twins again. Identical. Perfect. Oh, yo, Keith, we're not disappearing anymore. It worked. But I'll tell you what didn't work. What? Vampire in Brooklyn? That movie was off. That movie sucked. That movie stunk. Why was he a vampire? I don't know. Why was he in Brooklyn? Yo, over there. Those are the identical twins that stole my identical twins. Please, or we'll shoot. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Don't shoot. Let me, let me explain it. We're from the future, and these little dudes, they're us. We were disappearing, right? And we needed them to agree that Vampire in Brooklyn was an undeniable masterpiece so that they would agree so we'd stop disappearing. We're all done now, so you can have them back. Open fire and for everything fire. Hop in, brothers. Hey, hey, get back here. That's my limo. Dude, Clutch, you saved our lives. Yo, where'd you get this awesome limo from? I saw some dude that left his limo idling in a 7-Eleven parking lot. So I stole it. Man, I hope that dude doesn't get fired over this. Pull over the stretch vehicle. Hold on, brothers. Oh, snap. There's a the payphone. Now all we got to do is page ourselves to the future. Hello? Hey, Mom. Kenny, what you doing calling so late? You know I got church in the morning. We need you to page us at this number so we can travel back to the future. Yeah, it's 845-478-4154. For sure. <laughs> Pick up the phone, woman. Please pick up. Pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up. Oh, 
we're back. Awesome. Oh, snap. Damn, ghetto. You let us down, but we still love you. Ah, you know what they say. The ghetto giveth and the ghetto taketh away. Oh, snap. <laughs>